Hey up ducks, so uh, I've been shopping in the Steam sale. I bought 27 games. Oops. <laughs> and here is one of them, the Deer Man. I have no idea what it is. Shall we have a look? I am a morning person, even though I was visiting my parents. I had already planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night and we don't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. So... Uh... Oh, okay. Right. It was a cold Sunday. Minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. But I'm not running. Why aren't I running? Ah, ah. Oh, okay. Which way you want to take? Well, you know what? Fuck what you say. I immediately regret my decision with those howling wolves. Oh, um. Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. 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 Hello, thing. 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 Hello. This is the way I'm going to go. There is a thing. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. I'm gonna die. God, this is dark. Inside, it was mostly empty. I saw tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. I don't know what is going on with you. You leave early in the morning and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you're asleep. It's getting hard for me, and I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. And I'm sure you know that. And I'm hoping you will do something to make it all good. Oh. Oh, um. Yeah, it does look good. Nice. You know, in relation to, like, the look of the rest of the game, they're a bit... jarring. Oh. Do I want to go look? I'll go look. I may regret this. Right, no, I'm out. Uh, let's go. Is that... Is this... This looks like a graveyard. There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg what? sticking out of one of the tombstones. Oh, but you won't let me interact with it. This is creepy. Which way was I going? I was going this way. This is a little creepy. This is a wee bit creepy. Ah, oh, there's a deer. Hello, deer. Fuck what the signs say. The woods were beautiful. Everything seemed connected. Aye, right, well. Fucking go around this corner. Anyway, then. Do what the signs say. <laughs> Not very big woods. But that's good, because I might get lost and die. I don't know where I'm going, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe if I go back to the start and take that other path, I think. Where is the start? This is something else. I thought this was that cottage. It's not, it's something else. I remember I took the axe to... Alright, okay, I can look at it. I have an axe! Okay! I found nothing useful in the cabin. What handy text! Think of all the hours I'd waste otherwise. Where do I go? I'm so lost. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, there, there's the cabin. Right, okay. So, I sort of down here. And if I go down that path, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, I find my way back. Why am I even in the woods? I ran so many deer. I would not want to be around this many deer, I think. Deer are great, but... This many? I may get murdered. Also, you know, I'm kind of cautious of deer symbolism these days. Mostly since I watched Hannibal. Oh god, he's shitting! Fuck you. What if I kill a deer? Can I kill a deer? This sounds terrible, but you know. I want to advance the game, innit? Come back! No, I cannot kill a deer. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm definitely not going on the Steam discussion. Right, I haven't spoiled myself too much, but I've given myself an idea of what I need to do. I'm not- I've not spoiled it. I've just seen what, like, just the very next step is. So, so, we're going to the house. Did I just see it then? Yes. Oh, here, here. Here. Um, oh god. Wooden box was locked, but I managed to open it. Clothes laid in the box? I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. Okay. Now what? I'm a little afraid. To be quite honest. I don't want to go back in there. I think I might get cornered. I'm a bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm... I'm a little bit on edge. I don't know what I'm doing now. I only knew that one thing. Come on game. Give me a sign. Maybe don't give me a sign if it's going to scare the crap out of me. Huh? What is that? What's what? Oh shit! Run! Oh god! 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 Don't look back! Don't look back! I should find a place to hide. in here. No, no. Ah! That noise is horrible. Huh? What is that? Oh, shit. Run! So not by the words. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't look back. Don't look back. I should find a place to hide. Which way is that house, that cabin? I don't like this. Shit! There it is. God. Huh? Oh God. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home.
Oh god. Huh? Shit. No, no, what? Ah! Two miles away! I woke with a migraine, my vision blurry, I was trying to make sense of what had happened. On my right hand the fire burned and a kettle hissed. I saw the thing standing in front of me. Well, that thing turned out to be a man, holding a deer mask. He apologised to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him that I, n I was not there to hunt, but I questioned why he would have attacked a hunter. He said he had a reason. As he poured a glass of warm milk and handed it to me, he asked me if I, want, if I wanted to know. I said yes. He grew up in a poor family, in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. Okay. That was fucking terrifying, that was. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. You know what? No, no cri criticisms to the game developers or anything, but I prefer this map to the previous one I was running around in. <laughs> Make this one the main one. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. Oh, it's getting darker. That's not just me, right? Like, it's getting darker. It's that ringing noise. After hours of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, I hate that. That's fucking creepy. And then he found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. Oh god. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. And right then, a baby fawn came out to lie next to its dying mother. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. Oh As tears rolled down his cheeks, he closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. He opened his eyes and there they were, every life he took all around him. Oh my god. It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. Aww. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. He finished telling his story and he stood. He reached out to help me out. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it's time to go. We shook hands. He held onto my grip and confided with me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied. Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him. His courage to protect the deer and his bravery risking his life, it really touched me. And right then, we heard a gunshot. Follow me, a hunter is near, he said. Donning his mask, he ran to the sound. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. I am so afraid. I am petrified. That's as much as I will reference, so I don't get content I demerged. <laughs> oh, did I go the wrong way? I came oh. across a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way. But I saw no other path. Can I jump? No, I can just drown. Okay. What if I go the other way? Come on, I've read this text. Let me skip past it. 
My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. I have the overwhelming urge to do the same joke again. Come on, Doria, be original. No, no, I have to go across the frozen lake and try not to drown. So I'm gonna go for running as fast as I motherfucking can. And hope that that works. Yeah. I came across a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way, but I saw no other path. Ah. Ah. Don't drop, don't drown. Aha. <gasps> Which way do I go? Clearly not that way. I wasn't sure what happened. I couldn't see much further. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> no! I saw him lying on the ground. He had been shot. Oh no! I shouted, Somebody help! I shouted again, begging for help. But no one answered. Oh my god. No, dear man! Oh, shit. The police found a piece of paper in the dear man's pocket. It said, I take full responsibility of whatever happens to me. I hold no one responsible. I demand the hunter is set free, so that on his next hunt he thinks twice to take an innocent life from the wild. Police did catch the hunter and drop the charges. I could see the hunter was sorry, but... Well, the dear man was gone. We buried the dear man in the same woods. That night I couldn't sleep, and the next day I returned to the woods to see his grave. I was there to thank him for inspiring me showing me how to love the unspoken wild. A baby fawn oh, stayed by his grave, unfazed by my presence. This game just keeps going when I think it's done. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. That deer's watching me. Oh my god. They're all just watching. You're marking out a path. I knew why the deer weren't afraid of me anymore. I walked among them now. They wouldn't run. I felt welcome in these woods. That's when I decided to take the deer man's mission forward. I'm gonna be deer man. There has to be a reason to live. And I had just found mine. Okay. Collecting things. I was in the same path where I first met the deer man. I remember how he ran towards me and I did the same. I started to run, faster and faster. I didn't want to stop. The deer ran along with me, on my right and on my left. Oh, this For is so sweet. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I am the deer man. Oh, oh is that it? Oh, is that it? Oh. Oh my gosh. That's an experience, that is. Oh wow, I love that. I just bought it because it had a fucking deer, man, and I'm like, yeah, deer! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's so touching. Oh. That has left me emotional. <laughs> oh no, emotions, get away from me! <laughs> so, yes, this was The Deer Man. It's available on Steam, 
for very, very cheap. <laughs> very cheap. I picked up for, what is it, like 79 pence or something? And it's not much more usually. So you should definitely go buy it and give it a go. It doesn't take very long, it's taking me what, half an hour? Not even that, 25 minutes? 25 minutes of your life. Less than a quid. Apparently you can do it in VR as well, come on. You can't say no. For that price. You, you, you just can't. Can ya? It's a good game, it's a good game, it's very cheap and yeah, it's good. I'm impressed by this, I love this. Oh I do, I do. I'm gonna get as many people as I can to play this, this is great. So, this was the day man, I was Dorian Gay, and I'll see you in a bit.